Music lessons are taking on a new sound these days, and it's all to do with this little instrument. More children are learning the harmonica here in Bristol for some reason than anywhere else in the country. And they come in all shapes and sizes. Look at this little fella. I don't think I've ever seen one so small, but does it work? <laughs> yes, it does. Well, we caught up with some children who can do much better than that. To play like this, you have to start with the basics. One, two, three. These children are in East Bristol are limbering up for their big performance this weekend at the National Harmonica Festival. Their school and 24 others around the city are hosting harmonica lessons. The craze is even spreading into South Gloucestershire. Ben Hewlett is the only full-time harmonica teacher in the whole country. Beautiful. Fantastic. It's just good to play and you can play whatever you like really. And it's, and it's easy to start off and you can play all sorts of things. How long did it take to learn that? About a month. What do your mum and dad think about you learning the harmonica? Um, they think that it's really good and they're trying to learn it but they're not doing very well because they get breathless. Guitars, when uh, you're, uh, it's hard to remember what, where to put your fingers but with harmonica it's just like breathing and stuff like that. And there's pocket size so you can bring it wherever you want. This harmonica is possibly the smallest that I've ever ah. found. What could you do with that? Well, this has got four holes only, so there's not much we can do with it, but we can do something. The festival starts on Saturday in Bristol, now known as the harmonica capital of Europe. Mark Owen, HTV News. Good evening to you and welcome to Points West. The story's making the headlines tonight. Bristol tunes up to become the harmonica capital of Europe. Now, a special musical event has been held in the West next weekend. It's the National Harmonica Festival. The event features harmonica contests, masterclasses and concerts. Well, Bristol is one of the UK's premier centres for harmonica playing, with hundreds of children learning at school through the city's music service. We eavesdropped this morning. Super stuff. Well, that was the practice at school earlier, and we're now joined by the teacher, that's Ben Hewlett, and two very special children. Special because you're rather good at playing the harmonica, aren't you? Tell us about that. We've won a national competition. Have you? How did you do that? Well, uh, we, we went uh, long. Uh, ben told us about it. We got involved and played a piece and won a cup. That's very good because you're, you're nine, aren't you, both of you? Yeah. yeah. OK, give us a tune then, if you would, can you? OK. Something you've been practising, perhaps? <laughs> ben, they are rather good, aren't they? They're yeah, excellent, yeah. What's all this talk about Bristol being the harmonica centre of Europe? Centre of the world? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of people learning harmonica in schools. We've got 25 schools in Bristol, Baines and South Gloucestershire, and a lot of kids learning. How difficult is it for you to teach it? In a way, it's very easy. They take the harmonica, put it in their mouth, breathe in and out. It's an extension of the mouth. Gets a bit more complicated later, but that's the start. Uh, it's a wonderful instrument, I suppose, to learn because it's so portable, isn't it? And so cheap. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Boys, that was tremendous. Well, very well done. Excellent. You. Do you enjoy uh, learning the harmonica? Yeah, it's brilliant. Ben makes it really fun for us. Oh, yeah. well done. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the festival at the, at the weekend. The Folk House, mm. uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, this weekend coming. Boys, what do you say to people who say, oh, that's not a proper instrument? Well, we're quite proud of playing it. Yeah. So you can carry it around really okay. easily. Makes a nice sound. Well, <laughs> swiftly, I think, to the weather forecast. Richard is here. Richard, uh, much wind about. <laughs> <laughs> is there no start to that man's talents? Well... The answer is yes. Quite yeah, a bit. It was a weekend of things old and new for music lovers from all over Britain who came to Bristol for a harmonica festival. The national event has inspired more than 20 schools in the West to offer harmonica lessons for the first time. People of all ages have had a chance to pay tribute to the late Larry Adler and to participate in workshops. Now, school music lessons are taking on a new sound these days. More children are learning the harmonica here in Bristol than anywhere else in the country. Well, that's just about it from HTV for tonight. Our next bulletin is just a very optimistic attitude. But first, what have 
Ozzy Osbourne, Pete Doherty, Roger Daltrey and Alice Cooper all got in common. Well, they are all harmonica players. <laughs> but now a new generation of musicians are taking up the instrument. They're all from Bristol and are preparing to play in a festival with some of the world's top musicians. This is the last rehearsal for the pupils before they take part in the National Harmonica League. Around 500 children from 30 Bristol schools are going up against each other next weekend. They'll also meet some of the world's top harmonica players. 500 pu pupils all playing the harmonica, that must be quite unusual. I don't think there's anywhere else in the country where it's happening. But uh, it's been, I've been doing it for 10 years, so it's gradually built up. And uh, I think in the next few years it'll be double, triple. Harmonicas are fun because they're easy to hold and they're easy to learn. It's um, a fun instrument that you can just put in your pocket and then bring it back out and play it. And I think the harmonica is fun because you can play loads of different tunes and it's really easy. I've been playing the harmonica for about a year now and I can't wait to do the festival. And they're going to give me my first ever harmonica lesson and it looks pretty easy. Yeah, well, it looks pretty easy, but it's not. Time to hand you back to the experts, I think. And while you're listening, here are a few things you might not know about the harmonica. of the greats. Thanks Mark. Now to the latest performer from the West to take to the limelight. Adam Thompson from Whitchurch in Bristol has just won a major national prize for playing the harmonica. Adam Thompson has just been judged player of the year at the National Harmonica Festival. But the harmonica is just one of the things he can play. I play the keyboard and, and the piano. And the harmonica as well? Yeah. All at the same time? No, but I can play the keyboard and the harmonica at the same time, or the piano and the harmonica at the same time. These days, the harmonica is hotter than ever. These children are among the 600 or so across the West who are currently learning harmonica at school. Ben Hewlett was the first ever full-time harmonica teacher in the UK. He's also Adam's teacher. He can memorize things instantly and he can get the notes spot on he's got a very good memory for rhythm and for chords he can tell me if i'm playing a chord that's wrong you know he'll he'll turn and he'll say uh, by the way that d flat is a little bit sharp not too happy about that you know he really puts me in my place the prize adam won this year was judged solely on ability not disability something that makes it all the more sweet for adam's family he's regarded as a harmonica player not a blind harmonica player. He's just a harmonica player that happens to be blind, and it, it doesn't matter. I would I would love to be a be a success story, but um, at the end of the day, you have to have the right breaks. You have to have the right people come and see you. It's all down to chance, but yeah, I would, I would like to make it a success. Whatever Adam chooses to do, it'll be worth listening to. Mark Owen, ITV West News, Bristol.